Hey guys, Edog here, and today I'm going to show you my top 10 favourite features of iOS 10. So, the first feature of iOS 10 is the lock screen. So if I just turn my devices off and turn them back on to display a real lock screen, you can see that if I swipe this way and this way, you no longer get to the home screen. Instead, you get to this widget mode, which shows you things that you had in your widgets in iOS 9, but instead in this much more clean view. So, after you've gone past the home screen, the next app that I have features I like to do with is uh, messages. So if I just jump in here, wait for this to load, go into my own message thread. So on the iPad, the first message I like is a handwriting keyboard, which if you press this button down here, you can then get to it. And similarly, on the iPhone, if you go into the Messages app, instead of it being a key on the keyboard, you tilt your phone and you can see you can write on it. So, that is feature number one in the Messages app. Feature number two in the Messages app is the classic Mac sticker pack. I'm very partial to the old Apple stuff and the fact that they have included a Messages app pack to do with the classic Mac. I only have it installed on my iPhone currently, but I will be installing it on my iPad. So you get all the classic um, pictures, like some old Macs with some screens, the click, the arrow, the old hello message, and some of the like 8-bit black and white themed stickers. The next feature I want to show you is in the clock app and I will show you it on my iPhone because I've got it set up on there. So if you go into the clock app you can see the this new dial. So I currently have got it set up so I wake up at 6.45 and I want to sleep for 10 hours and up here, it only does it on weekdays. That is because that's how I have it set up. You can choose any wake up time, any length of sleep, or which days it, you want it to wake you up. So you can see, with 10 hours of sleep, it's predicting me a time to go to bed. And also, it has a alarm function built in. So, on to number five which is in the music app which I will show you on the iPad so if you go into the music app wait for it to load you can see there's this whole new way to view your songs there's the for you tab the browse tab which has music suggested on what you have installed the radio a search and then a segment that can show you what you are playing now I can't play any music for copyright reasons but you get the general idea the next one is in the like notification center I'll show you this on my iPhone, 
because that's where the feature is and it is a 3D touch on the X to clear all notifications. Also going along with this as a kind of bonus is the redesigned control centre but that isn't one of my top 10 new features. On the home you have added 3D touch support for some apps so for example music has this new bar but also apps that don't get um, 3D touch support get a share button instead so and new for iOS 10 is the home app Unfortunately, I don't have anything that connects into the Home app via the HomeKit um, SDK but some examples would be electronic door locks, the Philips Hue light bulbs would be one and just as a general kind of finishing up to of my new favourite features on something like the iPhone, if you lock it and you lay it down, when you come to pick it up it automatically turns on the screen when you lift it up and if you're still on the lock screen it will turn it off occasionally when you lay it back down cool bit is though, it doesn't work when the phone's in landscape or upside down, it'll only work when it's turned into portrait and my last feature is the new notification style which I will show you once I've got some notifications